A good old fashioned way to run a hen house is to use deep litter. We treat the hen house a little bit like a forest floor, a little bit like a compost, layering carbon over nitrogen produced by the flock. Carbon sources might look like bamboo leaves in the summer, in the autumn, lots of other kinds of leaves. And all year round we bring in sawdust for our compost toilets. All the houses here, the hen house, duck house, the little chick house and the goose house, they all use sawdust. On a daily basis, we don't need to worry about anything except keeping a layer of sawdust down over that nitrogen. If it doesn't smell like ammonia in there, then the chickens aren't exposed to the gases that can cause respiratory problems in poultry. If it doesn't smell like ammonia, then we're not releasing nitrogen and losing it into the atmosphere. It is a greenhouse gas and we want to capture that. We want to keep it locked up in carbon and set back into the earth. The compost in the hen house builds up over time, just as any compost would. It produces heat, which is nice for the hens in the winter. We're gonna try something a little different this year. Usually we would layer the compost from the hen house with maybe some greens from the garden and let it compost down some more. It's too hot to put directly on the garden. It'll burn your plants. We're moving the contents of the hen house into the chicken run. Now the chicken run I usually only use leaves, no wood shavings, no sawdust, leaves and then food scraps from the kitchen, pomace from pressing the apples, rotten apples, windfalls, anything we're feeding the chickens, it's all getting turned over and composted down and then I just pull that back in the springtime whenever I want to build a new bed and I pull back the surface and underneath there's incredible rich soil, rich compost that I will dig out and it always has enormous worms in it, lots of soil life and I'll take that and put that on a bed, let it rest for a bit. We'll see if it works to move the contents of the hen house right into the run and see if that composts down well. The run is open, it's just got hardware cloth on it and so the rain comes in and it composts things down really quite quickly. It's actually harder to make sure we keep enough of the carbon sources in there to make a nice spongy surface, a nice dry surface for the chickens to run around in dig in. In the hen house, the carbon layers up over time and we might not clean it out for a year at a time. I actually haven't cleaned this hen house out for a year and a half. So we're hoping that the contents of the hen house will turn into some nice compost in the chicken run and also provide them with a nice dry surface to run around on when they're not free ranging. When I harvest 
the chicken run duff. I like to leave a little bit. It sounds mad, but it's a little bit like starting a sourdough or jump starting a compost. It creates a living culture. There's a microbiome in there and you'll see that with the hens. They like to dig it over and find bugs and it's healthier for them. We don't want them in a sterile environment. I'll even harvest a little bit for the chicks or goslings, ducklings to grow up on in the chick house, in the brooder. It gives them an immune system. It gives them a healthy balance of microbiota. I just like to make sure there's still a good bouncy layer so when the hens jump off their roosts they don't injure themselves. Some of the run mulch is harvested monthly when we tip out our compost bins since capping it off with that mulch cuts any scent and the nitrogen in it increases the temperature of the pile. The simple act of burying nitrogen richness in layers of carbon like leaves and sawdust so that the microbes can get to work on heating up the pathogens and turning it all into compost is, is functional design based on natural principles. It's more surprising that we don't follow these principles and instead send food scraps and manure to fester in a methane frenzy. It's more surprising that we don't make use of these yields. The hens are sensible and they would turn that stuff under engaging the earthworms, all the members of the soil, to regenerate life. Mm -hmm.